This is a demonstration of how to use ArduPilot SITL to test the um, Sonics interface for ArduPilot. First of all, I'm starting up Mission Planner, and within Mission Planner, I'm going to Simulation, and I am choosing Multirotor. Now, before you choose Multirotor, you can choose to move the home location to wherever it is convenient for you in the world. Uh, if you want to make it uh, close to your own location, that can be very convenient for working with the app. We then start up the uh, multi-rotor simulator. While that's starting, I'm going to connect my Wi-Fi to the Sonics board. So there's my Sonics board, which I'm going to connect to. And I'm going to check that I have successfully connected to the Sonics board by starting up the web interface. And I can see here that I am indeed connected to the Sonics board. And this is the board before it has um, uh, the settle. You'll notice that it has no GPS fix because this particular board is just a bare uh, Sonics board with no GPS attached. Now what we're going to do is connect the Settle instance here in Mission Planner to the Sonics board. And you do that by typing Control F. That's Control F for Freddy. And you then choose the Mavlink option and you choose a TCP client and any board rate. You give write access, tick the write access button and then you click connect. And it should pop up a dialog box, which it probably has hidden behind here somewhere. There it is. A dialog box giving the IP address of the host you want to connect to, which is the IP address of the Sonics board, 192.168.99.1. And then it'll ask for the port number and the port number should be 14,550-14550. We click OK on that. And at that point, we have the mission planner is now connected to the Sonics board. To see that it's connected, I will go back here to the uh, web interface. And I can see I've now got a fix type 6, which is an RTK fix. Of course, we'll never get an RTK fix with a real uh, GPS streaming, but it'd be nice to dream. And we can see IMU data, barometer data, etc. coming through, and the, um, the board is, the interface is fully functional. And you'll be able to go to the map, and you'll get the map data for the, uh, the board where it is in my local flying field. It's taking some time to bring up the map tiles really taking rather a long time. Uh, my hard disk is going crazy as it's loading lots of stuff. Right, well, that's, I really need to get a faster hard disk. All right, that gives you an idea. You can also, it's quite useful to actually make it uh, fly around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arm the vehicle. Hopefully arm it. Yeah, so my hard disk is again spinning like crazy. Right, okay, and then I am going to um, uh, tell it to take off by right clicking and going take off to say 20 meters. And it's now taking off. And so it, now it's in the air. We can go back to the, yes, it's finally sorted out its hard disk and I'm able to get the map tiles. So there's the vehicle. And if I go back and have a look at the system status, then I will see that it's got a, a barometric height and it's got temperature and GPS height, etc. All of the usual things are, are filled in. All right, that gives you an example of how to use Sittle with the, um, with the Sonics board. And you can then, once you've done that, of course, you can run any of the usual uh, commands here. So... 
99.1 slash Ajax slash, and if I do something like um, command.json and uptime, then that shows me the, should show me the uptime on the board. Ah, I didn't put the command one equals. There it is, and there's the uptime of the board, and if I refresh that, I see that going up in seconds. All right, I hope that uh, helps you get started with the ArduPilot web interface and settle.